A rectangular box has a volume of 4320 cubic inches and a surface area of 1704 square inches. The sum of the length of its 12 edges is 208 inches. What would be the volume of the box in cubic inches if its length, width, and height were each increased by one inch? Now the problem is it's about a box, so we'll just draw a box. That's simple enough. There, there's our box. Draw it inside because this is this is an geometry problem. It's not our class. So first, we we'll label this. The x call this y call that z because then after we have variables, now we can make equations with all this information we have. So volume of forty three twenty. That just that just means x y z. is 4,320. Okay, now the surface area. Now we have two xy's in the front and in the back. Two xy's. We have two xz's, which are the faces that are on the side. And the faces on the top and the bottom, yz. That will make, let's see, 1704. Okay, now the edges. Now, if you look carefully, you see that there's four X's, one, two, three, four. There's four Y's, one, two, three, four, and four Z's, one, two, three, four. Just, just kind of go around in a circle for the X's, kind of go around in a circle like that. For the Y's, kind of go around in a circle. And for disease, kind of go around in that kind of circle. Just kind of walk along, walk along the box. Looks like there's four times x, uh, four x, y, z's. Which makes 208 inches. Okay, now let's see this two and four. Let's uh, get rid of those by dividing this out. Well, X, Y, Z, you can't do much of that, so I'll just leave that up there. Now, 2 times X, Y, Y, Z, uh, X, Y, X, Z, and Y, Z, and just divide for by 2, makes 802. And not 800 into 852. And for here, we just divide by 4, which makes 52. X plus. It's not 5 plus Z. It's 52. Okay. And now we've done these equations, you can actually get back to the problem we want. We want the volume of the of the box, the new box, that is, if we increase the length by one, the width by one, and the height by one. Wait, this is the length by one, width by one, and height by one. Okay, now draw these to separate our work. Now let's see what you want. X plus one, Y plus one. And Z plus one because X one and Z, those are our edges. Just increase those by one plus one plus one plus one. Now instead of doing all the multiplication going for X times Y times Z, X times Y times one and all that, I'm just gonna multiply two of these. X uh, X plus Y no, X plus one times I what Y plus one and tack on the Z plus one at the end. Okay. X times Y, that's X, Y. X times one is just X. And what? A one times one and one times one. That's just Y and one. Okay, so now take
that multiplied by the z plus one. Okay. Um, x y times z is x y z x y z. I think you can see this is going right. <laughs> x z x z and y z. And sure enough, y z is up there. And one times z, it's not x y, but x y is coming. I can tell you about that. And z is up there. x plus y plus z is fifty two. Now it's just a one. One times x y, one times x, one times y, one times one. That's just x y. Sure enough, x y. X, Y, 1, only little 1. So we have X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, we have X, C, Y, Z, X, Y. X, C, Y, Z, X, Y. Um, Z, X, Y. Z, X, and the well, that little extra one to tack that on. So now, all we, all we have to do now is 4,320 for the X, Y, Z. We have X, C, Y, Z, and X, Y, that's 852. We have these dotted numbers. That's those add up to 52. And that little extra one down here. You just have to do the stacking addition. Let's do that myself. And we have 5,225 as our answer. 